All right, well, my name's Ron. This is Garage Aquatics 2023. Will be an opening that uh, uh, I'll show you in just a minute, something I just received in the mail here today. I ordered, oh, I don't know, a week or so ago. I'm not an impulse shopper by any stretch. So I was watching uh, Adrian's fish room the other day and he was showing this plant called Brazilian Pennywort. I went straight to eBay and found one and bought it. So not an impulse shopper, right? So we'll see what it looks like. Uh, it just got here today. Let's, let's without further ado, uh, let's check out this, uh, this new plant that I bought. So this is Brazilian Pennywort from an eBay vendor. Uh, it came from Dickinson, Texas. And today's the 21st. Uh, they paid for the label on the 17th. So it shipped probably the 17th or the 18th. So that's pretty good. See what it looks like. Uh, looks like you can put it in. Oh, it's wet, soggy. Uh, looks like you can put it uh, into the substrate or let it float. And I think what I'm intending to do is to let it float. Hopefully it's all right. Thank you. Got a handwritten thank you. And I forgot the uh, Christina. Thank you, Christina. And she put it in a Ziploc. A little bit of tape. It leaked. Let's get rid of that tape. I've started heat sealing my plant bags. Seems to work really well. Ziplocs don't work that great. Well, there's a bunch. Now what I'm going to do is just clean it up. I don't know, just a couple of leaves that don't look great. And I'm just going to float this on the 75 gallon tank. These are nice strands. I forgot what it was. I think it was five strands. And I'll tell you what, these are really nice strands. I don't know if, uh, I got feedback from her. I sell plants on eBay. And when I do, and I, I, they're all buy it now. And with buy it now, it's automatic payment required. And as soon as I get paid, and when I get ready to ship, I automatically leave the buyer positive feedback. Look at this, that's nice. But I don't leave sellers positive feedback unless they leave me as a buyer positive feedback. Because I figure I wouldn't be there as a seller if it wasn't for the buyers. So they are all important to me. So I sell a lot of guppy grass on eBay and hornwort and dwarf water lettuce. These are nice, these are really nice. Let's, uh, let's go float these. And I'll probably end up planting some, but we'll come back for that later, or I will anyway. All right, let's go float these in that big tank. Edit this part out. All right, well, here we are. So we'll just uh, try and write these somehow so at least, you know, the leaves look like they're pointing up and I'll come back and sort all this out later. And I think I will plant some, maybe behind the big rocks there. Let it come up and over. Just stuff, stuff the ends of the stems down in. So there we go, Brazilian pennywort. I'll have to figure out what the genus and species is on it. But in the meantime, there it is. All right, well, I thought I'd do a follow-up on this a couple days later. It's hydrocotyl this Brazilian pennywort. All right, so it's related to that little, little small leafed hydrocotyl Japan. Uh, so I stuck a couple right down into the substrate. There's one back there, one there, one there. I think there was six in here. I think I shoved two back there side by side and one there, just kind of push the roots down uh, behind, that one's between a couple little stones. So hopefully it'll hold it in place, keep it from floating. And then these will rise, as they grow, they'll rise up to the surface 
and these big flat leaves will grow across the surface. And down here, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Maybe I'll, I'll prune them out and, and kind of cause them to bush up. But I want them to sort of grow up, uh, you know, up in front of these, these big stones. And maybe I'll wrap one, this one here, on this piece of manzanita. See how that goes. But anyway, they seem like they're doing all right. And yeah, this was, I really liked the vendor. Uh, she got them to me quickly. Y'all saw the box, it was, it was soaked. I would never ship plants in uh, Ziplocs. I've gotten some that way that just didn't make it, but these look like they're gonna be just fine. And a uh, young lady from uh, Dickinson, Texas. Um, and if you like, uh, I can find her eBay link and put that down in the comments. I'll pin it to the top comment if anybody's interested. It's a cool plant. All right, here's a little side note with this uh, Brazilian pennywort. It's kind of vine-like. It's a trailer. Probably lives on the ground, too, in moist areas. So you could probably use it in a landscape or a terrarium or something like that, with moist, moist environment. They're directional. So if you're going to plant an end, you want to look closely. Now, this one is going from right to left. All right? And the way you tell... And this one's pretty tough. Some of the others are easier. Each one of these little sections here where the roots are, is called a node, all right, N-O-D-E. And I'm holding on to one right there and there's one at this end. And this end here on the left, that's the terminal end, all right? And this one, technical term, would be called the proximal end. So if you look closely, the roots are going to be on the right, coming out of the right side of the node, below the node, essentially. And the new shoots are going to be coming out above the node. All right? And it's really hard to focus on something that small with an iPhone. But you can see the new little shoot coming out at the tip there, pointing towards the left, and the roots behind it at the right. So when you plant these, you don't want to plant it this way. You want to plant it, I'm still fumbling around, plant it this way, down there. Um, it'll eventually sort itself out. You can even just let these float. But if you're going to actually plant it, plant it in the right direction. So I'm going to stick where my little finger is. I'm going to stick that end in the substrate somewhere. Or behind rocks, two rocks, whatever, on a stem, wrap it around a stem. But this is going to be the end that it's going to grow from. And obviously it's rooting all the way along because these were floating. But if you're going to plant it, plant it right. 